all the in between. We all wake up and go through our day. But when y'all woke up, did you pray to God that you're blessed to see another day? Or did you pick up your phone to see if that one guy or girl sent you a morning, babe? What you doing today? We all wake up and go through our day. So did you go talk to that one friend of yours that's simply going through a lot of pain? Or did you decide to ignore it, hoping someone else will come down like Superman yet saving another day? You may think your life is great, but do you know what the struggle or the meaning is about being a C-H-R-S-T-I-N? Yeah, I spelled it out, because some of us are known to be a 24-7 hypocrites. We live our lives pretending to live perfect lives, which is a bunch of lies. We pretend to be Christians when we post something about Jesus on social media just to look good for our followers that y'all actually follow. We hide behind our screens, showing the world that this is where they need to be. But in reality, we're out here getting high on LSD or gossiping when we should be getting high on G.O.D. See, the society is nothing but a dating app. We swipe right or left, choosing our life and friends. Then when Jesus pops up, we swipe left because we don't need the so-called king interfering. Then when we're depressed and a mess, we come to him like it's a free clinic and don't want to pay back the spiritual expense. See, depression and the hypocrite are exactly the same thing. You stop believing in certain things and yes, don't make your pastor and your friends believe that you're a fellow Jesus loving friend when you know exactly inside that your soul is dead. Now, I'm not trying to bash people who have depression, because I've been in their steps too. But depression is not the only facade we put on. See, during the day or night, we are doing things that are not very Jesus-like. You are a snake in the grass trying to devour the next Adam and Eve, but when Sunday comes, you start praising God's name as you don't understand who you truly are underneath that pride and greed. You deny, deny, deny to your other non-Christian friends, saying that you'll know who your actual savior is, so you're nothing but a Peter. So next time, take a good look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, are you truly a believer? God, forgive me if I'm judging. I know there's too much judgment in my eyes, but I hate your children who lie and pretend to follow. So why do we try to hide and lie and lie to the creator who gave us life? When are we going to stop using God as a side chick? Y'all, think about how amazing it would be if we just put down our old lives before our king leaving all the negativity and committing a new life with Christ where truth, grace, and love is found on the other side. The change starts with you and I. So are we a true Christian or a true hypocrite? You decide. Woo!